guys welcome back to my channel my name is sandra today i have for you the september update for 50 shades of pink it is a collab with the fantastic ladies over on facebook um i skipped last month's update but today i feel like i have really good progress um it is 50 items that are pink have pink in the name or just anything that has to do with pink goes in this project so it is a year long it started on april 15th of this year and it goes till april 15th of next year um let's see where i am i have uh 24 products left i'm really excited i did declutter one item it was the julep cream uh what is it called the julep apricot nude cream it it looked like I had um, the driest lips in the world. Like the color was so bad for me. I was intending to use it kind of like a lip balm anyways. Not so much. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> not so much as like a lipstick. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and get into what I'm still working on. And then I will show you um, the products I finished. So, first is the Ellis Brooklyn West Perfume. If you guys can see my arms, I'm, um, I'm peeling. <laughs> so, I have about a third left. I like this, but it's really strong. Like, it smells really good, but it's really strong. So, I can only really use, like, maybe one or two spritzes at the most. Um, so you would think this would be like an easy product, but since it's so strong, it's taking me a bit. Um, but I think this would be really, really nice for like the colder months. So I think I'm going to save it for uh, maybe November and December, but I like it. It's really nice. Um, next is a floss gloss in Yule. So um, right here. I've been making like pretty consistent progress, but I've been focusing on a different lip gloss. So this has kind of been on the back burner. Um, if I'm sitting at my vanity or something and my lips feel dry or whatever, I can pop this on and it's, it's totally fine. Um, so still working on this one. Next is the NYX Shout Loud Lipstick in Chic. This one. Hasn't really gotten much use, that's the whole thing. This was brand new when I introduced it uh, five months ago. Um, but I don't like this as a lipstick, so as soon as I hit usage goals on my cream blushes, it's gonna be go time for this one. Um, so that one's kind of waiting its turn. Uh, let's see, the blush palette, Juvia's blush palette. I have 11 uses on it, so I have 39 to go. Uh, ColourPop's, uh, ColourPop Times Dizzy, I'm working on Damsel. That one, I have 20, 27 uses to go. So, it's this one right here. Has a little bit of a dip. I like it. I'm wearing it, um, in my crease today. I wish it would have showed up a little more, but the blue kind of took over. <laughs> um, so there's that one. Next, uh, the Glam Glow Highlighting Palette. Everything except for the Glam Glow and a L'Oreal product I'm going to talk about have usage goals of 50. Uh, so that's where I'm getting that number from. Uh, so the Glam Glow in my Infinite Wisdom, I was like, oh, it has three products. Let's make it 100 uses. <laughs> so I made it 100 uses, uh, which is fine. I like the palette a lot. So that's completely okay um so i've used it 37 times so i have 60 63 to go i primarily focus on these because this one's dark maybe next summer i can make it into a glowy um glowy lotion so i primarily use this one but what i'll do typically is i will dip here and then this will be the like top shade so getting more color from this than this um, but I really like it. I'm gonna keep going with that one. Um, okay, the Butanique Beauty Butter Lip and Cheek Balm in Mauve Lychee. I forgot to grab it, but 
it's just like a little pot and for that one i have 13 uses to go uh color pops jelly mud shadow in norris for the vivid i have only used it six times so i have 44 to go uh next juvia zuba i've used it um 13 times, so I have 37 to go. It's actually what's in my inner corner, like what's in my inner third here on top of, uh, I guess I'll just talk about this now. Uh, it's this L'Oreal, um, what did I put for, no, I put this down first as a base. It's uh, the L'Oreal Brilliant Eyes in Blush Jewel. So this one, was a replacement for something else so my goal is to use this uh 46 times i've used it three times not counting today i all of these numbers are from sunday the 13th because that's when i had originally filmed and then i decided i needed to refilm it so as of that day it's three now i'm at four <laughs> um next the fab coconut smoothie primer so this is from last month and this is where i am now i went away for about a week um at the end of august so i took this with me as my moisturizer too so that's how i got a little bit more use out of this um i actually really like this i don't know is this full size it's the 50 mil i actually really like it, it smells really nice it feels great on the skin um yeah I don't know i would purchase this again after i finish it so that one's steady next the tarte big eagle this i mean it's a mascara i can't really show you too much but i do feel like it's drying out a bit like less is coming out like you know sticking to the end of the brush if that makes sense um but it might be gone by next month i don't know i don't follow timelines for mascaras i kind of just use them until they die um like whether they're flaking on me or what if i just can't get product out anymore so this one is just gonna we'll wait and see um okay for my nude sticks i've used it 13 times and i have 37 to go looks like this i always open it the wrong way but this is it rolled all the way down it was brand new when i brought it in so it's gonna be go time in the fall for this i think it's gonna be so pretty so i have 37 left for that and then for my benefit high beam i'm getting pretty close to being done with this i bought a freaking spatula and it's too big ugh, for this little thing <laughs> so i don't know if you can see inside but pretty much like this down there's product in there and i feel like when i swirl all this like not that much comes out so i'm gonna have to figure out maybe like a q-tip or something i don't know um but i'm working on it i'm working on it if i can get it out i think maybe next month it'll be an empty um uh, uh the smashbox holidays palette um i'm working on the highlighting shade so it's this right here um this has been pretty consistent use um i'm hoping by the next update i'll have to repress it um but we'll see we'll see that was just gonna be slow and steady i like it so i use that one to um set down my eyeshadow primer next the dominique cosmetics lip gloss in peach tea um i actually have that on over um a lip liner i love this and i'm so upset because it's almost done <laughs> um you can see all the windows and i mean i still get product when i take out the wand so i am notorious for pulling stoppers way too early so i'm gonna try and like contain myself but if we're being honest i will probably pull the stopper soon um but i really really like this it's a really nice gloss it's not sticky at all it smells really nice and it goes really well over top other products so i really like this um so it might be an empty next month but that's okay um i love gloss now it's very weird uh, but yeah i really like it it's gonna i'm just gonna keep on working on that 
NYX for the Kaleidos Easter Egg shade. It's the super vibrant pink shade. I've only used it eight times, so I have 42 to go. Um, next, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Diffuse Heat. I have used it 25 times, so I have 25 to go. It still looks relatively untouched, but I really like it. It's a beautiful product. Um, so I'm going to keep going on that. And then, so Juvia's Tribe. I actually only have four uses left. I'm at 46 uses. Um, so this will be done next month. You can see the imprint is wearing away. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's pretty blingy. But it's a beautiful product as well. And then lastly, I have my Gourmand Girls Lipstick and Pumpkin. I've only used it once because I have shades that are pretty similar to this once swatched so that's what it looks like this is it all the way rolled up it looks very red um and orangey but i don't know fall will be go time <laughs> um so there's that those are all the products that i have to show progress on for you guys so now comes the exciting part so like i mentioned i did declutter the julep lip product um i finished off the bioderma micellar water it was like this big um i finished off the bath and body works and this weekend body lotion or cream i used that w mostly with um a highlighter mix in so like as a glowy um body lotion and i really liked it for that i love the way it smells <laughs> it smells so good i would definitely get that scent again um, and then I did also finish off my It Cosmetics Miracle Water. Sorry, it's like super reflective packaging, but I wouldn't buy this on my own. It stung my eyes, so no time for that. Sorry, guys. And then I hit usage on my Avon, the Cushion Compact. I feel like it's almost done, so I'm just going to keep working on it until it's done. Um... So that's pretty exciting. I'll have another blush out. But for the sake of this project, my goal is met. So I use it 50 times for this project. And then next, uh, my Winky Lux. I also hit my 50 use mark. What shade is this? Okay. What is this? Per? I don't know. I can't, I can't tell. But there's like the tiniest dip. Well, I guess. But this is 50 times. These are so hard pressed. Um, but this was a really, really nice like transition crease shade. Or to kind of just like clean up too. Um, so I reached my goal with that one. And then I also reached my goal with the uh, Alamar La Costa. Which is that top shade right there with the sticker. There's a nice little dip right there. But I still, I still use this all the time in my inner corner. Um, am I wearing it today? I think I'm wearing it today. Um, so it was really, really easy to get my 50 uses out of that shade. So I'm really, really happy about that. And then I did finish off a sheet mask. You guys, I have learned that I hate, I hate sheet masks. This past year, I think I've learned that I really just, I don't like sheet masks. Um, so that's one done. I have one more in this project and then I have maybe like six or seven left so i'll just work my way through them um and then two exciting products i'm super excited i finished off two lip products so the first big daddy is the maman lip sleeping mask this had how much product 20 grams of lip balm she clean if you guys have been following me for any amount of time, I love lip balm. Something needs to be on my lips at all times, whether it be a lip balm, a lip gloss, lipstick, whatever. I hate when my lips feel dry. Um, so this was actually not easy to go through because it was, it was a lot of product. Um, but I really, really enjoyed using it, and I'm so happy to see such a big lip balm. It is technically a lip sleeping mask, but I I use it all day, every day, so 
I really like this. I know it's going to be on sale the for the 21 Days of Beauty. Maybe even tomorrow or Thursday. Today's Tuesday the 15th. It's late though. It's like 9. Um, but it's good. I like it. I feel like you get a lot of value for your money. I got this through Octoly. Um, but I think it's going to be like seven or eight dollars i think originally it's either 14 or 16 dollars but it's a really nice one um if you've been wanting to try it i think it's a good one to try i'm just so happy i got like a big one out so i'm throwing that in my empties and i finished off this bare minerals gen nude in can even i don't know it was a gloss consistency but it was super thick and i I did not like this um as you can see i scraped as much as i could i'm not gonna fight with it um this is what the applicator looks like so kind of like a paddle um but yep i'm really glad that one's gone now i can focus on lip glosses that i actually like so i'm so excited you guys i have 24 products left 24 23 left um some some of them are usage goals some of them are like completing goals um but i'm really excited i really love this project and i'm so glad they're gonna bring it back next year um but yeah that's it for me thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions comments whatever you want to just chat leave it down below and i would be more than happy to chat with you guys um i know it's hard right now so <laughs> any like you know friendliness whatever that's good with me. All right. Thank you guys so much. And I will catch you in my next video.